Just when you thought we were done, we're back. We're moving over to Matt 12 with Dante Leon moving like a maniac out there. Hitting the TV but not breaking it, Dante Leon. Not even a minute into this match. There have already been two dramatic takedown exchanges between Villatora and Dante Leon. Dante Leon earlier uh, initiated a takedown situation that landed on Matt 11's Jasmine Rocha. And if you've been curious about some of the delays today, there have been a lot of no-shows in the brackets, forcing some uh, bracketology upon the IBJJF to get things moving here and causes some slowdowns. But I think we're past that point now. Look at the strength of Dante Leone. Stuffs the takedown now up on his feet. Oh my goodness. Dante Leone in like a little bit of a crucifix position in the air. So what happens next, Jake Watson? I'm unsure. <laughs> Dante moved down to lightweight here. Has to be one of the most powerful grapplers in the category. Puts a lot of attention on physical conditioning and that may be paying dividends here. Oh! Oh, as a crucifix! Look at the control from Dante to hang on to that. Actually smiling, licking his lips a little bit. <sighs> he made that look easy. Like a ninja, like a ninja psychopath going for the choke now, too. <laughs> Look at the resilience of Villatora trying to turn, make the position a little bit better for himself. You can really see the emphasis Dante Leon puts on his strength and conditioning here. Look at the strength of his legs to keep that position isolated on one side and his arms on the other. Oh, and he's got the lock of his legs. This is looking like the, such a tough spot. Now, if you're a ref, how do you reset this? All right, he's going to give an advantage to Dante. <laughs> and after all that, the score is tied. One advantage apiece. Nice shot there from Villatora. Dante, though, reacts nicely. Chasing the back now. Dante has some of the best scrambles in the game, to be honest. Really clever work. We've been uh, awarded one advantage apiece at this point. Now Dante Leon on top. Right hand on the hip of Villatora. That's going to prevent a lot of inversions underneath. But he needs to be careful not to fall victim to an attack that a lot of people have been going for across the weekend, the arm saddle. I don't know what's more intimidating, the idea of Dante Leon putting his weight and pressure on you or giving him open territory and giving him space. He's so explosive and dynamic in kind of every area of grappling. It's a lot to ask to control Dante. Going for what Lachlan likes to call the Ruotolo wedge there, turning into kind of an over-under style pass. Dante Leon now chasing the back. Oh my goodness, and the arm is underneath the chin, Chase. That was slick. He had the arm under the chin before he had the seatbelt, before he had the hooks. So Dante did something that was really cool. Maybe we'll see a replay later where you force the reap on yourself to then try and take the back there with the, with the counter that Ruotolo's like to do so well. And that led to that crazy scramble. <laughs> Just more advantages, though, for Dante. You know, Villatora has been in this match, tactically escaping a lot of the positions that Leon has gone for. And it's keeping him alive. You don't see it on our scoreboard just yet, but Dante Leon has four advantages to Villatora's one. Or into the headlock system for Dante, looking to jump to the back, getting a little maybe aggressive there. I guess that's no surprise, but shakes Villatore off. We get another reset here. The once mats a, cannot contain them. Jeff. Once again, that very specific single IBJJF cardboard cutout is getting abused by the competitors here.
And now Santé Leon pulling guard. Five minutes and 30 seconds left in the match. Really Toro looks like he initially had a little bite on an underhook there. Dante has some of the best wrestle-ups in the game. Of course, we're in the game with more of a little half-guard position here, but make no mistake, Dante can do basically anything here. Oh, possible flying cartwheel by Villatora. Oh, and a big hop by from Villatora. That looked like a very good movement. But Dante Leon, do you see the strength? Just basically bench pressing him off in that situation. Over and over, Villatora moving side to side. Now getting swept by Dante, and now in a great passing position. Looking for the arm is Dante Leon. And a lot of time to work in this position too, Chase. I mean, you got the, the upside down triangle fully locked, ankle to the bend of his knee, a possibility of a try or a possibility of a Kimura rather on the other side. Oh, oh a my goodness! What a gruesome submission from Dante Leon. Upside down triangle, lightweight division. The lightest we've seen Dante Leon compete since before he was purple belt, I believe. Yeah, beautiful work from Dante Leon. Hopefully we get a, a replay there. Some of the action from that matchup.